here at the Tarpon Library. Thanks for joining us today for a quick presentation on our January craft, which is this nice soft little pillow. There's no sewing involved, so it's real easy. Um, first, stop by the library, pick up a craft kit. Inside the kit, you'll find two pieces of fleece, roughly 12 inch square, a pattern, and we have given you the choice either to do a heart or a circle. So cut out whichever one you choose, and then you have a pile of fluffy stuff for stuffing your pillow. Now I have a couple here halfway done to give you um, some instruction. And because I completed a heart, I decided for this example, I would use a circle. So I cut out the circle from the pattern provided and I pinned it to the um, first square of fleece. Now, it's important to probably pin it because if you try to trace, you're going to have pen marks and those will show up because you do see the little ends um, of the pillow, so they will show. So in order not to have pen marks, I would pin it and the paper patterns are 11 inches and we've given you 12 inches of fleece just so you have a little extra room. And I would, I would cut a little bit bigger to utilize every bit of fleece you have. Um, just remember to also do it with the second, second square. So once you've cut out two circles or two hearts, whichever you choose, again, I use pins to pin them together a little bit um, because when you're cutting the fringe, you'll want, you'll want them to line up. So here I've put in a couple of pins on my, on my two circles. Then I grab my scissors, and I've already done this, but I cut about an inch and a half and about an inch wide, I cut little fringe like this. Like I said, about an inch and a half long and about a half inch wide. And I did use my ruler. This does not have to be exact, so don't, don't be worried about it being exact. But every once in a while, I would check to see that I'm about an inch and a half long. Because then, when you cut all the way around your circle, you're gonna begin tying, tying the ends. And you simply grab the two like fringes and tie a double knot. It's easy as can be. And you just complete it around until you're ready to stuff. Um, leave, um, oh, about this much that you don't tie because you have to have enough to be able to get your hand in to, to stuff it. Okay, so now we have tied in double knots Make sure that each one is a double knot. We have tied mostly around our circle, except for enough for me to get my hand in. So then you begin stuffing and do a handful at a time and work it way into the edges. And of course, this is kind of a preference thing. You can make it as fat or thin as you wish. But remember, the more stuffing you pack in, the harder it will be. Um, to keep it nice and soft and squishy, you don't wanna to have too much. I think that's about right. And once you get it all tied, then you can, um, you can move that, squish the stuffing around a little bit more. And here I'll show you, as I'm finishing up the tying, that I do each, each little set of fringes, I tie in a double knot so that they'll stay. Okay, and here I've tied my last double knot. And 
I have a little circle, a little round pillow, and I can squish my fluff in here to make it all even. And I can fluff out my fringe. And there I have a cute little round pillow. And of course, like I said, the other side of the pattern is a heart pillow. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next month for um, our February craft. Bye now.